Hello and welcome. It's Kristen from Life of Crafting. And I'm going to be on, this is going to be the third installment for this Paper Rose Jolly Holiday uh, as many as card challenge to see what I could get out of this paper pack. And if you haven't caught the first two segments, you may want to check them out because uh, so far I've done six sketches from this paper pack. Honestly, I've lost count how much I've made out of this. Um, anyway, uh, this is what I have left. I have two full sheets with the stars and one full sheet of this red. And I've chosen this sketch. Um, what was the, it was another sketch I did and I showed some of the Hobby Lobby editions that, that you can get um, between their stickers and their holiday stuff and gift tags. And one of the things I bought was some stars, in three different sizes that were on the sticker sheets in their regular aisle. So I figured this card is going to be good because I wanna do one large background, so that will be these. Um, and I guess it really doesn't matter which direction, but you know, obviously, um, yeah, I'm gonna get the best if I can cut it that way. I don't think it's gonna matter. Yeah, I think that's gonna be good. So I'm gonna cut this, I'll get like four t of the fronts. And then um, this is made, this is a sketch from Queen and & Company, and this is using their foundation dies to set. Now I haven't gotten it out yet and I can guarantee you because this card is a pretty close to an A2 size. Um, it is four and like three quarters. So I don't know if I use their die, if I'm going to be able to get the necessary four. Now I try to put my ruler back and I can't. I'm probably not, if I use the die, I'm not gonna get four out of this sheet. I probably could get three. What I'm gonna wind up doing is I am going to just cut myself banners and fishtail them myself. And it's not going to have stitching on it, but it's going to allow me to get four out of it. That's what we want, right? Um, I do know that if it's not in there, it's in another one, there is a smaller segment for, or a banner for the sentiment. So I feel I'm gonna be able to do this very little scraps. Here is another one. I'm opting to go for this one because I've done this one from Mojo um, Sketches. It's 550. I've done this one before. And again, I'm going to cut this in such a way that I'm going to get, well, I guess I'm gonna do it this way. Ooh, maybe not because, well, I don't know if I don't, I don't know if that I like the chevron going in that way. So what is this paper? It is, eight and a quarter by not quite six. Hmm, because I was thinking to get four out of this paper and find a way to cut this strip in four. And again, use some of my stars um, on this paper with a sketch and call it a day. So I don't know. I may have to do this Whew. because if I do the four, I can get two. So you know what? I'm going to modify this sketch and I'm going to turn it so it goes this way with the strip going this way, the circle. So you'll see, I'm going to lay this to be horizontal and I will get four. And then this is cut to, so this is still at six. So that is good. I'm just going to get four out of both of these and uh, I'll be back. So I just cut the papers. I've got a uh, four by five and a quarter on the stars paper. I'm gonna add a green layer behind it. So I cut that at four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And then I cut this paper roughly in half on the six inch side and then I turned it um, it wound up being two and like seven eighths, I think, by four and one eighth. So <coughs> what I'm gonna do, um, because I, I want the fish tail to look um, better and I can tell that this is just too wide. I'm going to take the, um, the die and I am gonna use it, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just not gonna have the, the 
the stitching on the top, but I don't think anybody's really gonna notice that. I'm gonna uh, get some washi tape when I run this through the machine, and I'm gonna make sure I have the tips of the fish tail, or the, yeah, the fish tails right on the end. And then I'm gonna just tape these down on the back and run them through. So that's what we're going to do for them. So that all the, the large sentiment will work. Um, here is most of the dyes that you get with it. I think there's uh, one more in here. So this is going to be the sentiment. Um, like I said, I don't have any stars for the necessity to cut out. I'll show you um, what I plan to use for that, and then I'll be back. Hello and welcome back. This is Kristen from Life of Crafting, and this is the third segment for my Holly, oh hold on a minute, for the Jolly Holidays Paper Rose as many as uh, Paper Challenge. I had started with 24 sheets of A5 size paper, which is basically like eight and a quarter by like six inches in size glue. So I got 12 different designs and there's two of each. And this is the, ooh, eighth paper sketch that I've made. I have some scraps left. I have not decided because there's really um, not a whole lot. It's just these very thin strips here. A lot of people would glue these inside. Um, yeah, I, I don't know that I'm doing anything else. I'm not making any promises. It may show up in a, um, I try to do once a month, like a, a card design using scraps. So I have not decided yet if I'm throwing that in there. So this is sketch seven and eight that I made using this paper pack. And um, if you wanna see, I'll try and put the links down below for the first two series. So this is, uh, well, so I guess we'll start with this one. This sketch is a Mojo Sketch 550 and I modified it. Um, I did have a, a short introduction to this video, so I apologize if I'm repeating. I just don't recall because it's been a couple days it took me to finally get back down to my craft studio. So anyway, I, I just flipped it over. So as you can see, it's pretty well close to the same. I used um, for my ink the Gina K Designs Cherry Red ink. Um, the stamp I used was this Recollections 529289. I like the stamps in here, but when I tried my first one with um, real red from stamping up. I just did not get as clear of a, of a stamp, of a stamping out of it. I had to use my marker to try and uh, have glue on my hands, um, to try and even out some of the lines. But even though they're both dye inks, um, I, I do like the Gina K one better. So that is that. Um, like I said, I do like some of the sentiments in this. They're just, um, some of them were in a different layout like this, perfect for like an inside, same thing. I don't think I have this on anything else. So I like this. I don't recall like when or how long ago I got it, but I like that. And I needed a two and a half inch circle. So I had this Queen and Company Foundation Style One has a nice uh, two and a half. The only problem with that is you do have to watch trying to get them out of there. If you notice, I do have some spots where we're trying to push them out, it's a little hard. And I used some scraps up. If you notice my reveals on uh, these two is a little bit more than the one on that one because I had a half a strip of this and a half a strip of this and used it up. So that is the sketch seven. And then sketch eight was this one from uh, Queen and Company using the foundation dies too. I did this, I believe, in the first segment. And what I was able to do here was... Um, that's my first one. This is my second one. I want to, the first one, I put the foam tape behind this banner, and I wanted to do it this way. Not a big, big deal, but in, when you're um, trying to lay it out, it was easier to do it this way. So I have a red base, a green layer, and then um, the star paper was a four by five and a quarter. The banner, I think I showed you, I cut it as much as I could get so I could get four out of the sheet. But then what I did was I sliced the banner down towards the bottom. And when I glued them down, I moved it down about a half inch so that I could put this banner over it. And it gave me a little bit more length by doing that. And my cut is hidden behind the, the uh, sentiments thing here. 
I used that miscellaneous one I had before that I told you is the Hero Arts CL343. I had it out. It's just easier to use since I already had it out. I did emboss it with that never ending thing of gold embossing powder from Stamping Up. I swear I'm trying to get trying to get through it. So that was how I did all those. I did put foam tape behind the sentiment because I felt it was able to really kind of smash down those edges where I cut it. And all of these stars are the gold foam stars. I believe I showed them in one of the videos. Um, all, oh, one of the ones I'm just recently, and I had these. These are from the Hobby Lobby Paper Studio sale. You can find them in the regular crafts uh, sticker section. They're not seasonal. They're all year, and there was a huge page of them. Um, yeah, here's my my thing on it. There was 28 pieces of different sizes. So that's what I have left after doing, let's see, how many cards did I got? I got four of this design and four of that design. So I did eight cards. I did have to put an extra one on this one because uh, my finger kind of smudged off the, the embossing powder and it was already melting. So it really, so, you know, stick a sticker on it. Who knows, right? Um, so yeah, I got eight stickers and I probably got enough here for at least two more cards. So I'm going to uh, put that down and throw that in there. So that is the end of the Jolly Christmas Paper Rose series. I hope you liked it. Give me some thumbs up, please. And um, would love it if you could subscribe down below. Got lots more inspiration coming your way. And uh, I'm guessing this will be kind of getting to the end of my, because uh, I have scheduled videos out past July. So this is still gonna take me into probably August. And this was supposed to might be my you know, Christmas in July series. Um, oh, and I didn't mention as I did do a little bit of foil here. It's just a thin strip that I used out of my scrap and filled it in with white in between. So lots of scraps getting used up here. Very, very happy on that one. So I will catch you later. See you on the next one. See ya.